Trump Legal Cases Daily Digest. February 19, 2024. Hello and welcome back to News Media Hans Daily Digest. Last week was very busy for former US President Donald Trump and his legal battles. There have been multiple updates from all four criminal trials, with one of them scheduled to begin on March 25. In addition, Trump has been ordered to pay a large sum of money in a civil lawsuit. There will be more legal developments to come this week, notably from the Supreme Court on the immunity claim. Coming up. In New York, some lawyers representing former President Donald Trump are preparing to appeal Justice Arthur and Goron's order. The judge ruled that Trump and his namesake business used false financial data to obtain better rates from banks and insurers and ordered Trump to pay more than $350 million plus an estimated $100 million in interest. And Goron also prohibited Trump and others from holding leadership roles at the Trump Organization or at other companies in New York for three years. Trump has vowed to appeal. Other lawyers representing Trump are preparing for the first criminal trial of a former U.S. president, which will also take place in Manhattan. Meanwhile, in the Florida classified document case, additional motions are due on Thursday from Trump's lawyers. They are expected to argue that the indictment should be dismissed on several grounds, including claims of presidential immunity. The drama will also continue for at least another week in Georgia, where a mini-trial over prosecutors' conduct is ongoing. The judge overseeing Trump's state election interference case must decide if the prosecution was compromised by a personal relationship between Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie T. Willis and a lawyer she hired as special prosecutor, Nathan Wade. Here is the digital map of the four criminal cases. Georgia, state case on 2020 election. The challenge, Trump faces 13 charges for allegedly attempting to overturn election results, four of their 18 co-defendants pleaded guilty. Planned trial date, undecided. Last week, the situation is complicated. The district attorney, Willis, is being criticized for her romantic relationship with prosecutor Nathan Wade. She claims they only started dating after she hired him to work on a case, and this relationship ended in 2023. But the defense alleges evidence to suggest otherwise. The star witness refused to answer the question, citing attorney-client privilege. The defense also alleges that Willis has financially benefited from the Trump prosecution, with Wade allegedly paying for trips they took together. Both Willis and Wade admitted to taking trips, but Willis said she always reimbursed him in cash. Her father testified that he advised her to keep cash on hand at all times. Washington, D.C., federal case on 2020 election. The challenge, there are four charges related to conspiring to obstruct the 2020 election results. Planned trial date, undecided. Last week, Lawyers representing former U.S. President Donald Trump requested the Supreme Court to halt the proceedings in a case where Trump is accused of acts committed while in office. This request was made as Trump appealed a previous ruling by the Federal Appeals Court in D.C. stating that he is not immune from prosecution. The prosecutors, however, argued against any further delay, citing the public's right to a speedy and fair verdict. If the Supreme Court declines to take up the matter and allows the appeals court ruling to stand, the case could proceed to trial in late spring. Florida, Federal Classified Documents Case The challenge, former President Trump faces 40 federal charges that he unlawfully kept top-secret government documents at Mar-a-Lago and hindered government demands to return them. Planned trial date, May 20. Last week, Judge Aileen M. Cannon presided over a hearing in which she met separately with prosecutors and Trump's team behind closed doors to discuss the release of additional classified materials to the former president as part of discovery. It is common practice for cases involving classified materials to have such meetings. Judge Cannon will determine what additional classified materials prosecutors must give to Trump, and if any redactions or safeguards are required for those materials. Trump was present during the hearing. New York, state hush money case. The challenge, 34 charges connected to a 2016 hush money payment to porn stars. Planned trial date, March 25th. Last week, at another criminal hearing attended by former U.S. President Donald Trump, a New York state judge made it clear that he intends to proceed with the trial date of March 25. This trial is related to 34 charges connected to a 2016 hush money payment. This is likely to be the first criminal case against Trump that will go to trial. For a few months, New York Supreme Court Justice Juan Merchant seemed to be waiting to see how the timing in the D.C. federal case would unfold before delaying his trial so that the D.C. case could go first. However, since the D.C. case is on pause while the presidential immunity appeal is being processed, Merchant announced that his trial would start next month and could last until early May. The biggest Trump court news in New York last week was the separate civil judgment against Trump and his business associates for inflating their property values to get better rates with banks. 
Trump was fined more than $354 million, and his adult sons and a former top executive were fined a total of $9 million more, plus interest. Thanks for watching. If you like it, comment and hit the like and share buttons. Subscribe for future videos.